is going on people welcome back to the channel back with another video on the beautiful v4r i need gas but i have my backpack with me which i don't think you guys can see uh, i got a bunch of parts finally like all the bottom pieces the clutch cover and all that stuff so we're just going on a little ride and then we're going to go to the shop and put on all these fun parts that's the plan for today the bike has been running good this is my first time kind of like riding it after that uh pretty much last video where i talked about you know all the issues that i've had ever since everything got resolved you know bike has been running good this helmet is tight af i want it to break down so bad i also finally put on a cardo i haven't been riding with music ever since my accident so literally like half a year so yeah it's been a minute since i've been you know riding with music and i honestly miss it i got used to it i'm not gonna lie but now it's nice to have all right i'm gonna update you guys when i get to the shop or when i'm on the way there all right we are back we are done with all the parts i'm gonna give you guys a quick review of what happened we tried avoiding Ooh, is that a scratch or is it i think it's just dirt we tried avoiding taking the the main side fairing off just because it connects to this carbon piece which was a pain in my butt to put on because uh, it's not flexible and the previous piece was plastic which was easy to put on so we tried to avoid taking that off which wasn't a problem until there was one bolt down there for this piece so we got this alternator cover on we did the slight adjustments right here just to make it fit with this uh timing inspection uh thingy part that i put on from duca bike but yeah this fit very nicely this one was actually i thought this is going to be the easiest piece but it was the one that needed the most work just because there's like a tab all the way down there so we had to move all of this stuff just to you know wiggle enough so it can fit because the tight it's like a very tight fit you guys can see from everywhere so nothing was like too complicated but you know we had to loosen all this stuff just to be able to get to there and uh well the main piece that we put on finally we have the clear clutch now i know some of you guys are not gonna like the sound see initially when i first heard the dry clutches i was like why does the bike sound broken it doesn't sound good it sounds off but honestly the more you hear it the more it grows on you and this one is not like as clunky it has a like nice rattle to it so i'm actually excited to ride with it you know and that's also why i wanted a loud pipe so it can like even out so it's not like too much rattle and you can't even hear the exhaust like the acro would be like that that like the exhaust is not as loud as the rattle which i didn't like but now because i have a really loud pipe it evens out and it sounded pretty good we'll see how it sounds when i ride what else did i put on oh levers we got carbon fiber levers with a little bit of red in them you know just to go with the rest of the bike so yeah a lot of parts that make the bike look much nicer happy with how it came out now we're waiting on the engine covers right here i already have this top piece and same thing on the other side and then we're gonna put all those next time we'll talk about the other stuff when it decides to do it but the next stuff should be the covers right here in carbon and stuff like that but yeah let's start her up and see how she sounds <laughs> all right let's see how she's gonna sound I think it's a very even sound. <laughs> oh. New clutch feel. I think it's a little too far. I might have to move it a little closer. Yeah, the exhaust is definitely louder than the clutch, but I do hear both, which is pretty nice. And obviously you can only hear that when you're pretty much like at a light or stopped or going like really slow when you're not on the throttle. I do want to mention though that cover right there 
it actually was about the same weight if not a little heavier than the OEM magnesium cover so I was a little surprised by that but you know the OEM magnesium would make sense that it's lighter I'm not exactly sure what material this one is but I love the shape of it that's why I went with it for once we managed to put on the parts fairly easily so we're gonna ride during the day and not at night yeah I'm gonna adjust my clutch right there it's like a little the release is like a little too far out I don't know if I can do this with the gloves to be honest yeah I was saying about the dry clutch is that a if you want to do a dry clutch conversion you know it's extremely expensive I think it's like three about three thousand dollars maybe a little more just to do the dry clutch conversion and it's unique you know it's not something that uh, a lot of bikes come with stock i believe only the v4r the v4sv and the super leggera these are the only like new bikes new v4s that come with the dry clutch so you know you when you have something like that you gotta kind of unleash it and it's a unique feature that's why i kind of I want to show it and that's why I decided to get the clear clutch so actually this clutch cover comes with a window on the inside so if you don't want it to be extremely loud you can put that window on and it's gonna be much quieter than this but yeah I gotta take it out you know plus if you do remove that window I think it helps keep your clutch cooler so that's beneficial too Oh, that was a 2019 ZX-10. I love that Nardo gray color. Whoa! I did not realize I was going that fast. I just wanted to get some speed to be able to merge, you know? Bike feels way better. Now that the tune is facing, it's not stuttering at like 11, 12. Because back then, I feel like when I would go up there and it stutters, I feel like I'm redlining, even though like I'm not even close to that since this bike redlines at 16.5. So now it's like very unnatural to me that the bike is like keeps going and it's smooth. But yeah, hopefully the bike, you know, stays running good. I'm happy with where she's at right now. I wonder if I'm gonna feel more heat from the clutch now that it's open. So far, I don't feel anything. Yo, riding with music is a little dangerous. I get in a mood of vibe and now I just want to go fast. The bike already is tempting enough without music. Do you guys ever wake up and you have like a ride or you know like today I wanted to go on a ride and go to the shop and you're like you know what whatever I don't need breakfast I'm good and you end up being out until it's almost dark and you haven't even had breakfast so yeah I'm running low on fuel the bike is good on fuel but I'm not damn I want to go on a longer ride but there's like traffic everywhere I don't know where to go I don't want to just be stuck in traffic lights and traffic Tomorrow, hopefully, I think we got a little ride planned or this weekend. Well, that is pretty much it for today's video. Just kind of an update showing you guys the new parts. Finally, the clear clutch that I've been waiting for forever. And yeah, the bike is getting more and more complete every time. I got reservoirs and the engine covers and all that that I told you about. Uh, I think that's all the stuff that I bought that are still coming on the way but other than that um, I still need to buy the top yoke the under tray for the tail and a bunch of other pieces and carbon wheels I really want carbon wheels but yeah thank you so much for watching please make sure to like subscribe you know support the channel I'm not sponsored by anyone so I'm paying out of pocket for all the pieces and everything pretty much so any support would be much appreciated but yeah thank you so much for watching catch you guys in the next one peace out and ride safe